so what this is here, this is the lace that I've chosen to cover the cutout in the jeans. Um, I don't know if this camera is focused well enough, but it has little pearls and sequins on it. And um, because the embellishment that I'm going to have on the back of the jeans is pink, I wanted to put a bit of pink in this so that it would match. So what I did is I went and bought a packet of these beads. These are four to six millimeter plastic pearls and they're in a light pink. And I only want to use the small ones. So you're not going to be able to see that, but they're over here. They're just the four millimeter ones because they're the closest size to the ones that are actually already on the lace. And then also I just have my needle and thread. And um, this is a light pink to match the beads and the sequins. And this is just this type of thread, just cotton. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew on um, the little pearls, just where I think it could do with some um, pink. Okay, so I finished doing the beading. Um, I haven't put too many on there just because I think that it would look a little bit cheap and I don't know, just not, not as nice. If there was like a whole bunch of pink on there. So there's not too much, just um, oh, I've got a shadow. Just enough, I think, just to give it a pop of colour. Make it stand out a little bit better. Um, so now I'm going to go in and cut these because obviously I don't want this, um, you know, huge long piece on the side of the je uh, the shorts. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to cut around the flower here. And so that's going to be one from there and then to the end of this flower. Okay, so because I cut this from the design there's um going to be ends that are left sort of open so there's potential for it to fray and then fully all come undone so what I'm going to do is use this uh, fray stop which basically is it's just like a glue that stops it from unraveling um, this is just the brand I have you can use any brand and I've also heard that you can use um, clear nail polish. So, yeah. So as you can see here, I've marked exactly where I want my shorts to come to. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut that. Mommy. Yes, Kayla? Mommy. Yes. Just making sure I've got it flat. And then I'm going to cut. So there's my one side done. As you can see, the uh, back is a little bit longer. Just a little bit, not too much. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut the other side. Now to do this, I'm going to fold it in half just so I can get them even. 
you can always go back in later and cut it cut off a little bit more if it's not even I just want to make sure this is laying flat properly so there, they're all done So there's the shorts, and there's the back, and now we're going to get on to cutting out the um, triangle. Okay, what I'm going to do is lay it flat like this. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my little cutout pieces, and I'm just going to line them up where I want them to sit. So <clears throat> I've just laid it out around about where I want it placed and I actually want a little bit overhanging the jean, like the um, where the jeans end, where the shorts end. So I've just got a little bit hanging down and so this is going to be the basic area that I'm going to cut out. I'm just going to roughly trace around uh, the lace just to get a really rough guide of where I'm going to need to make my cuts. Okay now because I am going to be actually sewing the design on the jeans I'm not going to be cutting that much out so I'm going to just go back in and sort of eyeball, I guess that's about half an inch. Um, that's how much further in I'm actually going to cut. So I'm just going to roughly draw that in. So there is my cutout piece and my design is going to just be sewn on like that. So I'm going to place it like that and that's how it's going to be sewn on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm over at the sewing machine and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zigzag stitch uh, this cutout that I've just made and the reason for that is so that it doesn't fray too much. So I know this angle is not the best because I mean there's just not much I can do about it. I don't have a tripod or anything so you're just going to have to bear with me and um, yes I'm just going to zigzag this edge. Uh, when you sew, you when you first start you always want to go forward a few stitches and then reverse a few Don't stitches just to lock that in and you're going to do it again at the very end. So here's the finished cutout doesn't have to be neat because this isn't going to be seen but you can just see that I have zigzagged along the edge and that's just going to help it stop from fraying if you want the frayed edge under there that's fine but I personally just thought this would be um, better so that's what I've done Okay, so I chucked it in the washing machine so that it could um, fray up the edges and afterwards I'm going to go in and cut all the long strands off.
And I've gone ahead and pinned on one of my lace patches. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin the other one now. You just want to lay it out as smooth as you can just because it's easier. But because it's in an awkward spot, it's not going to be completely flat. So I'm just going to lay it how I want it. And I'm going to start with the top because I want this top part. I want this very top part of it to go right on the top of where the cut is. So I'm just going to line that up. And I'll get out my pins and start pinning. So that's both sides pinned. And then this side. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Oh. Now I'm going to go ahead and sew it. So what I did here, what I just did then, um, I turned it inside out and I did a zigzag stitch all the way around the edge of the jeans. And as you can see, you can't see it because it's white on white. And um, now I'm just going to go around the very edge of the design to hold that down. And I'm going to do this in a straight stitch. So that there is one side completely finished. Now I'm just going to go on to the next side and finish it off.